All right, Camino, changing the guard. I think this is going to be the last mission I do before I call it up. Officially, there never was a clone rebellion on Camino. Unofficially, approximately 20 years after we were created, a special detachment of the Imperial 501st Legion was dispatched to Camino with orders to eradicate an army of clones that had been bred to take arms against the Empire. Our mission commander, an expert on the inner workings of Camino, was a young bounty hunter named Boba Fett. Speaking of cross faction fighting, now it's uh, stormtroopers versus clones. On the job. Boba Fett has been chosen to lead a small task force into the Camino Cloning Center. His familiarity with the center's layout and access codes should give us the element of surprise. Oh, I couldn't destroy it until it gave me the okay to use rockets. My bad. Get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Poor Bubba. The Empire wants us to collect some DNA samples from our evil brothers. It's okay. It's okay, Boba. You you were you did you served your purpose. You blew up a control panel. Good job. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't do more of this. Like just um just cross faction battles like this. Stormtroopers with clones. I mean I can understand why they wouldn't do stormtroopers with clones, because like they all wear sort of white armor. I need health. Give me your health. Yay. Alright. And I also like the um the explanation for this. Can I go through this door? No. Yes I can. Cool. I also like the explanation that this game gives for like what what the whole deal is with like what um Oh, they have an auto turret. Like what? Like what the whole deal is with like what? What's with the clones or not the clones in the Empire? Because like you notice how like all the officers aren't clones and stuff like that. So they explain like what the deal is with that. Like they had clones at first, but then they sort of like m moded the clones out. I mean they didn't explain that quite yet, but at the end of the mission they will. I'm just explaining it to you right now because I won't have time to later. I'm gonna heal up a little bit before I before I move on. Get out of my corner. I'm healing up, can't you see? Yeah, it's like y you notice how like I guess you're supposed to assume that in between Episodes three and episodes four, like they, they, like all the clones just sort of put on stormtrooper armor. But like, you, you notice that all of the, all of the, um, what is it? All the officers aren't clones and stuff like that. Like the stormtroopers are different heights, and like all these inconsistencies, and like they never really explain that. And I, I like that this, uh, that they sort of pick up the slack in that respect, in in this game. Secure, pulling ship back to a safe distance. Good job. Okay. Take that CP and await further orders. I mean, it's it's not cool that the movies don't really explain that, but you know, at least there is an explanation somewhere. Oh. Okay. Didn't have to do anything about that guy. Ow. That guy headshotted me. Asshole. Well, I can fly around too. Alright. I'm gonna see if I can jump all that way. No, I'm not gonna be able to jump quite that far. I will jump this far, though. Oh god. Alright, I'm not gonna deal with you guys. Screw that. Damn it. Alright, I guess it was a bad idea to um, use a weak little class like that. Back to the Stormtrooper. I actually never really saw the point in, you, in the clones, really. 
because it's like story story wise there's no difference between them and the droids you know because like all the amount to in the movies is just more disposable soldiers it's just like you might the republic might as well have just had more clone i mean more droids i mean why not you know it's like they don't there was no point to having clone versus droids like th there was no point in having this convoluted backstory of how like the clones were started to be made like 10 years before the war or whatever like there was no point to that get out of here i'm having a hard time getting over here what are you doing they're all just sort of like staring up into the rain they're like turkeys or something like they're that stupid that they just kind of like stare up in the rain with their mouths gaping open until they drown. But they're fortunate enough that they have helmets so that they don't they don't drown. They don't suffer that fate. Yeah, like what's the purpose of having clones versus droids? You know, I mean, it kind of seems like the only purpose for it is because Luke mentioned that oh. There was there was Clone Wars at some point, and I guess to have like some sort of connection between clones and stormtroopers, which isn't even really there that much, because they outmode the clones anyway. Oh God, they have clone commanders now. It's not cool. These are these are like, cool looking commanders too. They don't have like the the weird armor that the other ones have. I just kill them in one hit anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, I need to destroy these consoles, I think. Yeah. So what's what's stopping them from just like fixing the consoles? Like is there anything? I need more ammo. There we go. Boba kinda gets like the, the, the lamest jobs. <laughs> his his first job was to like destroy a door console, and then his next job is to destroy like more consoles. I mean, wouldn't you wouldn't you hire him for something more than that? I guess he's supposed to get like clone samples or something. I do like how in um, the CGI Clone Wars cartoon they kind of like sort of expand upon the whole clone thing. Like they give them like personalities and things like that. Whereas in the movies they didn't really do that. Like Obi Wan named one clone like. Cody, and like that—that that was the most that mo the most personification any clone ever got. So, you know, it's kind of cool that okay, I can't like flame out these things. Unfortunately, I don't have any more explosives, so I I can only pew pew away at this console until Boba Fett's like little health bar runs out or something. Oh, there there was a gonk droid over here. I can get more health ammo that way. Okay. You guys know you can't destroy it, right? Only I can with my magical, my magical player character missiles. They won't be cloning another army anytime soon. The Kaminoans are evacuating in five minutes. Take down their transports before they can escape. Okay. I'm I'm probably gonna run out of health before that. This job's finished. Yep. All right. Time to bring out the the, uh, the big guns. All right. Well, unfortunately, it's moving, so I can't exactly. Can I lock onto it? No, it's not letting me lock onto it. Oh, okay. Two rockets. That's fine. Yeah, there we go. I need to take out the other, the other one. The CGI Clone Wars cartoon, it started off pretty bad, actually. Like, 
like the the movie, the CGI Clone Wars movie, like that was worse than the prequels. And and the first season was on par with that. But season three onwards, like season two was a little bit better. But season three onwards, like it really kinda picked up. I guess I'll talk about this another time, maybe. The bounty hunter left after the battle was over. He said something about tracking down a smuggler on Tatooine. After the Kamino uprising, the Emperor decided that an army of genetically identical soldiers was too susceptible to corruption. Future troopers would be cloned from a variety of templates. Though the 501st itself remained pure, the rest of the Imperial Army gradually became more and more diverse. We never really got used to the new guys. And there you go. There's your explanation for why, like, the Empire's armory isn't, like, identical to each other anymore. Which is pretty cool. But anyways, I think I'm going to cut it off here. So yeah, more of the Empire campaign next time. This has been Super Bear Man. I want to thank you guys for watching, and may the Force be with you.